What's up? Welcome to the video. I hope you're doing well. Today we're talking about warping text around a circle. This is going to work in both Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer. It's a two for one. It's like a, it's like a coupon. Um, let's grab a circle. So let's go over to our tools on the left hand side here. And you're saying design method. I don't see a circle. Well, don't worry. Let's just look for our shapes. They're right here. And we're going to click on this little triangle here. And we're going to find the ellipse tool, the circle right here. Now, if your screen doesn't look like my screen, you can always go up to window studio and hit reset studio to reset everything back to default. So now I've got my circle selected. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift while I drag the circle out. So it becomes perfectly proportional. And let's just move it around, center it. There we go. That's fancy. Now we've got our circle selected in the layers panel on the right here. Now let's go over to our text tool in our tools menu, which is right here. And when I click on that, you're going to see my mouse changes to an A with a target. But as we get close to the circle, you're going to see it's going to change to T with a little squiggly. That means text on a squiggle. Actually means text on a curve. But I think it sounds better if it's a squiggle. Now, if I click my mouse, it's going to let me start typing. So I'm going to say text on a circle. Now you're going to notice my circle disappears because it's now created into a curve. And that's just how it works. I can show you how to change that. Not change it, but how to keep a circle right after this. So let's stay on track. Now that we've got our text here, it looks a little wonky. Things to pay attention to are these green and red triangles. These are the start and stop points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this green one first, the start point. I'm going to drag it to center. You're going to see it's going to hit center when this little line, this little red thing pops up. See that little red line there? It's saying, okay, you've hit the center. Now I'm going to grab the stop point, which is this red triangle. I'm going to drag it up to center. And you're going to, again, you're going to get a little red line that says when you're there, there it is. So now it's centered. Now the text still isn't centered. So what we're going to do is now that we have our stop and start points, we're going to highlight the text. We're going to go up to the very top here and we're just going to center a line right there. Fancy. So now the text is centered. Cool. What else can we do with this? Well, if we click on this here and go to the end of the text, so you can see my cursor is blanking at the end here. Say I wanted to type now inside this circle. If I hit enter, I can now type in here. And the same thing, you'll see now that there's other start and stop points that have been created. And these ones are centered already for this text. These here are now for the one on the bottom. So let's grab these start and stop points. I'm going to grab this green one. And I'm going to drag it down to center. I'm going to take this red stop point and I'm going to drag this up to center. Now that it's centered, I'm going to highlight this text. It should already be centered, but let's just make sure center align. There we go. So now we have text around this circle. Now let's do it if you wanted to keep the circle so you can actually see um, what you're designing here. So let's delete that. Let's go back. Let's create another circle. Again, I'm going to hold shift to drag out this circle and I'm going to center it. Now what I would do here is you can see in my layers panel, I have one circle, one ellipse. Now I, what I'm going to do is duplicate it. So you can either right click your mouse and go to, oh, I don't know, duplicate. There it is. Couldn't find it. Uh, or you can hit on a Mac command J or on a PC, you can hit control J. So now I've got two in my layers panel. So let's go back to my text tool with my top circle selected. I click on my text tool again. And as we get close, captain squiggles is going to appear. There it is. And you'll see the circle doesn't disappear because it's actually showing the circle below now. So I'm going to say text on this circle. And again, we have our green start and our red stop point. So I'm going to drag those down to center again. So there it is. And we'll drag this one up to center. There it is. I'm going to highlight this text. I'm going to go back to my center align. There we go. Now, a couple things else you can, a couple things else you can do now is if I highlight this text, there's a few other tools we can use. There's a thing up here called baseline at the very top. Now, if I click on this, I can drag this slider bar. Now, if I drag it down, the text goes slightly up and out. And if I drag it this way, it goes in. So you can modify your text that way as well. A couple other things to know is this other button here. It's called reverse text path. Now, if I do this, the text is going to go inside the circle. So if I do this, it's going to go like that. And now it looks upside down. Well, that's because it is upside down. But that's because our start and stop points are kind of backwards. So let's move the stop point back around this way. Let's move the start point back around this way. And we'll bring them back to center like this. 
like that. And now the text is centered again. Let's make this text white. How about that, huh? And because it looks a bit funny here, I'm going to take the mouse off so you can see. It isn't maybe perfect. So this is where we could use the baseline. So I'm going to highlight this text again. I'm going to go to baseline and I'm just going to move the baseline around a little bit so I can do that. So now it looks like that. Now, I have one final thing here I want to point out is sometimes you, if you make the text too big, it doesn't quite look right or it's not how you want. Well, you can change the spacing of this text. Now, if you are on a Mac, if you hold option on your keyboard and use your right arrow key, and if you're on a PC, it's alt and your right arrow key, it'll change the spacing between the letters so you can fill out the circle more. If you hit the arrow, uh, the left arrow, it'll make it smaller. So that's some text around a circle. Let's do one super quick example around something else. Okay, so now we got this guy's head. Now his head is not perfect. He's not a perfect round head. Uh, I, think that's a, I think that's a thing. And let's see what we can do here. So let's go back to our circle over here on the left-hand side or our ellipse tool. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna hold shift again to drag out this circle. Let's put it to about there. And I can't see through the circle to line it up as best I can. So what I'm gonna do with my circle selected in my layers panel up here on the right, I'm gonna to go to opacity, which just means transparency. I'm gonna click on this slider and I'm gonna drag it down a little bit so I can see through the circle. So I can line it up a little bit better. And it doesn't need to be perfect, but let's say, let's just free draw this. Let's say maybe like this, I'll pull it down a bit here and let's adjust it a little. Let's, let's try that. Let's just see how that works. So with my circle selected in the layers panel, I'm gonna go back to my text tool. I'm gonna to click on it here. I'm gonna go over here and wait for Captain Squiggles to appear. There he is. And I'm gonna say text around this guy's, whoops, this guy's head. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna highlight it here and I'm gonna bring the opacity back up so we can fully see that text. And again, I'm gonna mess with the start and stop points. Let's gr grab the green and let's pull it down to center there. And let's grab the red and let's pull that up to center. And we're going to go back up to center a line here at the top. So now it is around his head. Now you might like it and say that looks good, or you might want to bring it up or down. Again, this is where I would use the uh, baseline. I'm going to highlight the text. And if I use baseline, I can bring it up or down depending on how I want it to look. So say I thought maybe that looked a little, little bit better. I can just do that by baseline. So that's text around a round head, a kind of a round head. Shout out to this guy. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please tap, tap, tap that like button. If you want to support the channel, you want to subscribe? Well, you should. And if you want to join the channel as a member, five bucks a month helps me buy yogurt. Well, for, for not for me. Usually my kids get to it before I do. And I say, where is the yogurt? And then it, uh, no one, okay, that's enough. All right, uh, <laughs> thanks so much for watching. Uh, I will see you in the next one.